Hello, my lovely students. Very, very welcome to this amazing video session. This is your master teacher, Amit Modak, and a very, very heartily welcome to this amazing video. So, today we are going to do some questions of Kangaroo Sands Frontiers, which is also called as Kangaroo Math. And we'll take the questions from the level of grade 5 and 6. This level is also called to be as Benjamin. And you might be seeing some logos from different places like Malaysia, then you have your USA, China and many more. So you will be amazed to know that this exam basically on pure mathematics, it's taking place in more than 95 plus countries. So it's a proud that if you are going to appear for this exam, because you will be competing for, from the students from not over the country, but all over the world. So today we'll look into some of the questions from these previous year question papers. And let's check how many questions you will be able to solve. So you will be writing the answers on the comment box so that I can check and also I will be giving you a homework. All right. So if you have not subscribed the channel, do it right now. It's very, very important because you never know you may miss. So right on, you just subscribe put on the notification uh, put on the bell icon to get all the notifications so let's move and see the first question the first question says mastics are arranged to form numbers as shown so here you can find the mastics being given 0 1 2 3 and so on it goes till the digit 9 now to form the number 15 here you have the 1 and here you have the 5 okay so in order to make in order in order to make the two digit number that's sorry in order to make the two digit number that is 15 1 and 5 you require seven matchsticks okay you require seven matchsticks now to make a digit 8 for that also you require the same number of same number of masters. Now, what is the biggest number? What is the biggest number that one can build using these seven masters? You have to make the biggest digit number. It may be one, two, three, whatever. Whatever the biggest number you can make, but make sure that the seven mastic can be only used. Think of the biggest number that can be built using seven matchsticks. If you get the answer, write on the comment box and we'll check it out. Who are all are getting the answers? So your time has already started. So start doing fast. Which is the biggest number that you can build using these seven matchsticks? Okay, time up. Let's see who all have got the correct answer. The correct answer is, okay, let's see. If we want to make a zero, if we want to make zero, how many plastic is required? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, right? In order to make the digit one, we need require, uh, we require two. Okay, in order to make the digit 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 we require. Okay, in order to make the digit 3, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, sorry, 5, 5 required, 5 is required. Next, in order to make 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 is required. 
Next, to make 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 is required. In order to make 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is required. In order to make 7, we require 1, 2, 3. In order to make 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 is required. And in order to make 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is required. Now, we need to make a biggest number. So, we need less number of mastics so that their sum should be a total of 7. So, we can take the, ma the number with 3 mastics, that's 7. Okay. Next, the lowest mastics which we can take is 2. In order to make 7, we can take the letter 7. Then 2 matchsticks using, we have the digit 1. And again, we can take a 1. So, the matchsticks, if we see the matchsticks, so that is 3 matchsticks in 7, 2 matchstick is 1 and 2 matchstick is in 1. So, 3 plus 2 plus 2. 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. So, the biggest number which we can make, is 711. So, very well done if you have got this. 711. Let's move to the another question. Alice has four jigsaw pieces. Alice has four jigsaw pieces. Now, which two can be fitted together to form a hexagon? You can see a hexagon being there on the extreme right side. And the four pieces are being there. You have to think. This is the exam where it is test how much your thinking capability is. Think of the pieces which two pieces can be joined together to make the complete hexagon. Think over it. Which two pieces is going to fix together so that it forms the complete hexagon. Is it 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 2 and 3, 2 and 4 and 1 and 4? Think of which are the two, which are the two uh, uh, two pieces you will be joining together to make it a complete hexagon. All right, I'm hoping everyone has given their opinion in the chat box, on the comment box. And it's very, very important. A lot of becoming miser not giving the comments. Please do write on the comments what the answers you are getting. So, let me reveal the answer of this. The correct answer for this question is... That's B option. 1 and 3. If we attach 1 and 3, we will... Get the complete hexagon. We'll get the complete hexagon. Okay. So very well done, my lovely students. Let's move on to the another question. That is, four posts are placed. Four posts are placed along a 120 meter long running track. Okay, four posts. These are the posts you can think of. Suppose the flag posts are being used in football and so let's say these are the flag post. Okay. These are the flag post. Okay. So we can think of like this that some of the flag posts are being there. One, two, okay, three, and four. So four flag posts are being there. Okay. In which the flags have been there. Okay. 
some flags have been there. Now, there's a running track and this is of your 120 meter long. How many more posts have to be placed so that the running track is split into equally long sections? What or we can say how many more posts you know, we need to post on that long running track so that it gets split into equally. So how many post, more posts need to be put there? Think a very good question. So all these questions what I am taking these have already come in our very recent years of your previous year questions of your international your Kongru exam. So once again I am very sure that you have already given your answers. So let's look. So what the right answer? So what we can find is the distance between the first two posts is 24. Okay. First two posts is 24. Next we have 30 and next we have 66. So what we'll do is we need them to divide in equal parts. Right. So what we can think of that we'll think of to make them equalize. We'll think of HCF. We'll think of HCF. HCF of all these three numbers that is 24, that is 24, twenty-four, thirty, 30 and 66. Okay, we have the HCF of 24. Then we have 30 and 66. Okay. So when we take the HCF of 24, 30 and 66. So what we will find is that the HCF is 6. Okay. The HCF will be 6. Now in order, in order to divide the 24 measurement if we divide it by 6 we get 4 if we divide it to get 4 now 4 parts right to the measurement of 6 we need to divide it 4 parts ok so for making 4 we need to make 3 post here ok we need to make 3 post of equidistant 6 meter each okay similarly in order to divide 30 with taking 6 as equal we need to divide it 6, 30 divide by 6 that is 5 post we need now to make it divide into 5 parts we need to post 4 1 2 3 4 okay so that it gets divided into 5 equal parts Similarly, 66, it has, if 66 is divided by 6, as we need to make a 6 meter each. So, 11 parts we need to make. To make it 11 parts, we will make 10 posts here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. We will install 10 posts here. So, 10 posts here. 10 plus 4, 14 and plus 3, that is 17. So, 17 is our right answer. That comes because of adding of 3 plus 4 plus 10. That gives 17. Okay. So, 17 is the right answer. Next question. So, as I have made you solve 3 questions, the fourth one I am giving you for a homework. So, this question is going to be your homework. I want everyone to try this 
the very, very interesting question and get your answer on the comment box. Okay, I will definitely acknowledge the student getting the right answer of this question. Okay, see you in the next class. Till then, thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.